Hello and welcome to driving an EV in the UK. And we continue with our buying, our decision. Now, let's look at some things. You've watched video one, technically speaking, that find what you, the reason why you want to buy a new car and why we can buy an EV. Now, let's look at how we drive. What type of trips do we take when we go driving? When we go out in our car, how far are we driving? Are we just driving it from home to work? And that makes up 95% of your driving. What is the distance that you are likely to be driving each day? Now, this will help that you won't need to buy a very expensive car if you're only doing, and most of your driving is just doing short little 20 mile trip and 20 mile trip back, 40 miles a day. Then you don't need a car that has a massive range. So we are going to look at that type of thing. What what are we doing with the car? We need to work out how big a car we need and how many miles we are going to drive. From this we take that we can now eliminate cars that don't fit our current needs. Now one other thing you need to consider is cost. Like everything in life, how much money can we spend or how much money do we have? Now, it is very or more unlikely that you're going to have a bank account with money in that you can just say, I'm going to take that 20 or 30,000 pound and buy a car. But we're more likely to say, well, we have a little bit of money, but we're going to have to get a loan for the rest. Now we are down to how long we have this loan for and how much our monthly payment is. Now, you have to know which are you more happy with. How much you can physically, every single month, comfortably afford to spend so that will then show you how much feasibly you can borrow depending on how long you are happy to have that amount of money coming out of your bank for. So what do we have? We have time versus cost. Now the longer you can go for then the more you can borrow but then you start losing how many places you can get loans from and you don't really want to be spending lots of money on high interest rates for this loan. So what can we find? Are you a person who has lots of money and therefore can buy a brand new car and pay it? the monthly amounts then normally they have a final payment and then you get a loan for that final payment which then still means that you'll be having it over a large number of years but for an electric car that may not bother you so much because there's less to go wrong in it or how long do you want the car for some people seem to have the idea that they buy the car and then two or three years later they just sell it and buy a new car Constantly, therefore, spending money every single month from now until the end of creation. Some people are like that. Are you? Are you? How long are you wanting the car for? So, we have to work out how much we have before we can look at what cars are now going to come into that price range that we are going to be happy to afford. Now, I know for me right now, buying a brand new car is completely out of it because they require 
three, six, seven thousand pound deposits, and then you're paying maybe how much I could afford, but then you have the final payment, which means I would still have to get a loan for that, and some of them amounts still require quite a lot, and it becomes more difficult, you know, especially the deposit part. So my I move away from new cars to second hand cars. Now for you you may be able to go to new cars. If you can't and you have to follow my path down to the second hand range. And there is quite a lot of second hand cars on the market. Different sizes. So that's why you have to work out how many people are you going to have in the car? How much things do you have to carry? Will denote on how big the car has to be. If you were only going to have two people in the car ever, and yes, you may get shopping, well, there's the back seat as well as the boot. Do you need a big car? Bigger the car, the more fuel it uses, also, most likely, the higher the insurance group will be. So therefore you can save a bit of money there. So we have we have a car we have a car idea. What type of car do we want? How many people are we going to be carrying? And how often are we going to do big trips that we need a car that can do big miles? If it's down to we only need a car to do big trips one week every out of the whole year then why don't you just hire a car for that week? Really, you know, why have a car that is big enough for that one week only and for the rest of the time you are using more fuel and costing you more than physically just saying, well, I'll just hire a car. I'll just get a car for a week and then do that big drive and go on that big holiday. Why do that? Getting a smaller car, less insurance, all of those savings in fuel in driving around will then for pay for your week of a bigger car and maybe getting something which is newer that you've never had before. So you have to look at cost, you have to look at how big you need the car and you have to look at what range you want from the car. Look at what you are constantly using 99% of the time is 99% of the time you just do tiny little trips and the one-off time that you do a long trip then really you don't need a car that can do two three hundred miles therefore you will bring the price of the car that you can get down it doesn't say you can't buy the car that maybe can do 200 miles but you are not fixed to that one make of car which might have other things that you don't like about it. So let's move to, we have a car, we've worked out how much we can spend, we worked out how many people it's going to carry, and we worked out how many miles we're going to do, and how many times we do long trips. Now, with that, you can eliminate cars from the list of EVs that there is on the market. For me, a tiny little car would not work because there's three of us and we carry a lot of stuff when we go away. So therefore, the tiny little cars like the my Skoda Me and these little small ones wouldn't work. I need a still a decent sized car. So where am, are we going to go? And do you need a decent sized car? If you can get away with a small car, then you can get some cheap deals. If you can get away with less miles, you can get some really cheap deals. And some of the prices for if you want a car and you're quite happy with a car that will manage a hundred miles between one charge and another, you can possibly get away with something like a Leaf, which I don't like the look of. This is the first gen with the big headlights and the boot that looks like a, it's got a big boot. I don't like that look. 
not only that, but I don't like its range because it doesn't work for me. So where are we after that? You start at the low price and you work your way up until you get to a car that works for you. Well, that's what I did when I did the search. I started with the cars. I made a list of the cars that we start with. I made a list of the make, how far it goes, how big its battery is, how much it is. I wrote it down. And this is a good way to start. Work out for each car what doesn't work for you. Because you may not be able to tick all your boxes, but you want to be able to tick a good number of them. So, for me, a leaf cross how far it goes for the 24 and 30 kilowatt battery versions, which is the start of the cheapest end. You can get an EV for like five grand at that end, but its range might only be 70, 80 miles. So range, not good for me. That's a cross for that size. It's adequate, how it looks. I don't like how it looks. Although that really can't really be completely in your decision. So for that, for me, it was another cross. Um, I didn't like that it doesn't have any battery management system, which therefore stresses the batteries more, which then makes a possibility that it will kill its battery quickly and more sooner and won't last the length of time I want to keep the car for. So that is another downside for me. Um, so I moved from 24 leaf, 30 leaf, those two went out. We are now down to any small little cars. For me, them went out solely on the size. So them got crossed out. So we work up from a start point and the amount of money you have. Just because you can hit a big amount of money doesn't say you need to spend a big amount of money. If you start at the low prices and work up, you could find a deal in a car that you go, that fits a lot of my boxes and I could work with. I don't need to spend the maximum amount of money I can. I can buy this car. So run on that and work out what you want from your car. Size, distance, number of people. And we'll see you on the next video. Constantly make notes. So please like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.